Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Kaleidoscope Sound in beautiful Union City, New Jersey. I'm your host, Tom Gallo of Look At My Records, and I'm here with Sweetbreads. Hello. Who have joined us all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Super excited to chat with you all. You just put out a great new EP called Good Night. Yes. Came out on October 13th, and I did that emphasis because it's good night, exclamation point. I'm not <laughs> just like going crazy right now. <laughs> the punctuation is important, yes, everyone. Yes, it is. Right? Very important. So we're going to chat. They're going to play some songs from Good Night, and I was having a gander at the set list. They're also going to play some new songs as well. So that's <laughs> super, super exciting. Sweet breads. We've got Melody. We've got Sean. We've Hello. got Nick. Hello. We've got Jason. Yes. On the bass, right? Yes, sir. Guitar, guitar. Anthony on the drums. Hi. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. Yeah, very well. It's Hollow Weekend. Yeah. Did you... Well... Melody, you were part of an ABBA cover group last yes. night, right? Was anyone else involved here? No. Uh, solo adventure into <laughs> ABBA land. How'd that go? It was very fun. Yeah, I played with Big Girl. Bigger Girl, actually, because we had some new additions to the band, and that was really fun. It's a growing girl. Yes, a, a growing, growing girl. girl. We love a growing girl. <laughs> so... This project's been around for a little while. I first uh, started listening to Sweetbreads in 2020. You put out a single, but it's kind of existed since before that. And yeah. I know Melody was primarily your project for a while, and now I've noticed that now it's more of a collaborative project between you and Nick, right? Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, yeah we met years ago at a mic and then we started like playing each other's songs yeah just, and like, then hanging out yeah and then we co-write it's been fun nick nick's really good at um helping me like when i'm like obsessively like in a rut nick will be like why don't we pivot and try something here and that really helps in the songwriting process and and then we can spin off and find other worlds in the song yeah 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 that sounds about right <laughs> like you got anything to say <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, you explained it pretty well yeah i mean yeah and when when did that start because i know when you put out that that great song wanderer in 2020 right that was still yeah. just you right that yeah that was my song um and then we wrote Out of Range. That's on our first EP together. Um, were there other songs Missing on that? You was kind of Missing a, You on the EP on the is yes. one that we wrote together. And same with Chaos Is. Nick helped me with that one quite yeah. a bit. But um, yeah, Nick is really good at like grounding me when I'm like, I really can't get out of this mindset or something and yeah. he can help me unleash the yeah. the I, hounds I, I sometimes it's like i'll help like us both figure out what the song's about and what you know what direction we want to go in with it um yeah <laughs> i feel so silly with this microphone that's <laughs> no, good it's I, a nice looking microphone it Anthony, is a really did you nice want to add something no, not at all Okay. <laughs> well, if you would like to, just ask for the microphone. Do. You'll it's be right provided there. with one <laughs> to say what you need to say. So, something else that I kind of noticed with this EP, I don't know if it was just me, but you know, I could definitely hear the country influence in the project's earlier works like Wanderer, but I feel like that's kind of been it's not it's not there as much anymore. Yeah. What do you attribute that to? Jay what? Jay. Jay, my, the producer my of the EP. Oh, I think, um, I mean, I, I feel like Sean has gotten really into like, country guitar, so I feel like the new EP has some of it, and mostly yeah. coming from guitar. But I think that, you know, Anthony and I and Sean play like in another indie band, yeah. so I think our comfort zone is kind of more in the indie rock realm. But we've been trying to go more country. 
I'm comfortable there too, yeah. indie rock realm. Yeah. Very yeah. comfortable realm. Yeah. I'd say the EP is sort of like the latest one has a lot of experimentation in yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Where we were kind of trying to figure out like, oh, maybe this song could just be like like more like straight ahead poppy um, or something. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, we might be... Probably going back to the... Going back to the... More organic realm. Yeah, because I really love country music, and um, we, we'll see. We're trying to start recording a new album and with a lot of the songs that are on here, and I, I do hope that there'll be a little more country. I don't know. I feel like... I like experimenting a lot, and then now I'm kind of like, oh, maybe we can make it a little more cohesive, I guess. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I think by just having more like acoustic guitar as the foundation, it's gonna it's gonna help it get there. Yeah. And how Jason Jason, how'd you get involved? Because I think just to shift back to Wanderer as a reference point, I don't think you were playing bass on no, those, no. on that track. Mm. So how'd you get involved with the project? And then how'd you get involved with producing uh, the Good Night EP? Um, I think, uh, I mean, I think Sean became friends with Melody in like 2015, maybe. And then since we kind of already had a project together, we just met Melody, really, li- really liked her music. And then at some point, I think you just asked, like, hey, do you guys want to sort of fuse together? Um, and then as far as, like, production, engineering, it was just, for Melody, it was just the low-hanging fruit. And she's oh, like, oh, my, fr- <laughs> my friend Jason works at a studio. And, um, yeah, it's we been... really yeah, lucked like, out We also really like, like your, you know, the work that you've Jay done. Is amazing. I want, them to, I want them to compliment me now. Yeah. <laughs> No, you're you're so great. Jason, the EP sounds dope. Thanks, man. Thank you. In, that's in quotes. Quote that. Dope. dope. Quotes. Open quote. Dope. Close quote. <laughs> yeah, Sean and I met at a songwriting class that was really bad. <laughs> like, but we got something out of it because, yeah, we won't say his name, but uh, I don't. Yeah, me either, but. It was like a very strange, strange thing where we just like, I shouldn't even talk about it, but, but Sean played his song that he wrote in that class and I was like, oh, he's really, really good. And then I played my song and Sean was like, she's really good. And then we just, we became friends. Yeah. Beautiful. I, yeah. (laughs) I want to talk about some of the specific songs on the EP. The first song that you're going to play tonight and the first song on the EP is Chaos Is. And I really love the lyrics on that song because I feel like it's very like scene setting. You're kind of like setting the scene. There's the, you know, not the crickets, the cicadas, you know, singing yeah. in the night. And then there's a the TV in the living room that's left on. I totally can picture my own home with that exact thing happening so i was curious what were you uh what you know what were you what picture were you trying to paint with those lyrics what inspired those like very specific uh lyrics in the in that song a lot of them were images from like me with like watching my brother as a teenager (laughs) um especially like the donuts in the parking lot. He used to tell me he'd like do donuts in the Denny's parking lot. And I was always like, wow, Sean's so cool. (laughs) Um, But um, yeah, I tried to capture like the longing of a teenage girl in a song. And that's why I wanted like the pedal steel in it and everything. I feel like that's such a, it has a lot of longing in it. And yeah, I like the idea of, you like hovering over your own life and sort of watching it from afar and um, just wanting a lot of things as a teenage girl and feeling like you don't necessarily feel like you'll get them. I don't know. What's it like reflecting on that period of your life uh, through music? You know, being separated from it kind of like gives it perspective, I'm sure. Yeah, I think... um, 
I, that song helps me like kind of romanticize it in a way yeah. I guess and uh, I really like that I like looking back on I, I had a nice nice childhood you know um, but uh, yeah I think it helps when you process things through music and you can like I think in like moods a lot when I write songs so I liked the like dreaminess of that because sometimes my memories feel like like dreams. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and I really liked speaking of the mood of the song for, for the fog, which I felt like lyrically was really about like trying to will yourself out of a life rut. But it's kind of this very uplifting sounding song musically thank That's you kind of what i got out of it the guitars and things like that so what's what's the story behind that track because you'll also be playing that yeah. track tonight mm, sorry <clears throat> yeah the fog is just about depression yeah and um that is something that i like to bring to my music and i think that jay really helps with that like bringing energy up on sad songs and um yeah, just kind of like white knuckling it through life, hoping it will be good. <laughs> it's like kind of a running theme throughout a lot of my songs. Yeah, and I appreciate that theme. Thank you. Because that's what you got to do, right? Yeah, that's life is hard. That's what you got to do. It's hard. You got to fight. <laughs> yeah. You got to continue to fight, everyone. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't get any better. Continue to fight, <laughs> everyone watching. <laughs> yes. It may get better. It may not. <laughs> it just, There's always it, some light somewhere. The future is somewhere. unclear, you know? So. <laughs> yeah. Just go with it. Yeah, yeah. So you're also going to be playing, I think, four songs that aren't on this new EP, and they're new songs, right? Yes, they're well, they're pretty new. Yeah. Um, the EP we just really lucked out and got like a discount, yeah. <laughs> a really nice like a, a price for a day at Virtue and Vice Studios, and we just tried to record as many songs as we could there, and we did four that. I feel like we were just feeling kind of passionate about as a band at the time. Mm. And um, I'm hoping that we can attempt to make a record this time. And it has some of the songs I'm like most proud of writing. Um, but some of them are old and some of them are very new. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a whole... <laughs> how would you, yeah, I guess. how would you compare them to the new EP and everyone the songs are Satisfy the Anvil, Open Mic and Empty. Those are the mm -hmm. songs that are going to end this set. Um I would say they're really emo well, I feel like all my music is emotional, but these ones are like pretty emotional and pretty earnest, which sometimes I'm like maybe this isn't a good thing, but uh you got to go with the way you feel when you're writing. So I'm trying to just lean in and accept it. Lean into it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're coming to the end of the interview portion. <laughs> but, and now I'm, I'm sad because I'm going to go sit over there. <laughs> but I'll get to listen to the whole thing. So Yay! it sounds, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I usually ask the band to introduce the first song which is chaos is but we already talked about that mm -hmm. so tell me about the second song you're going to play which is also on the good night ep oh yeah safe in a bucket yeah that song is about someone with a secret that's torturing them and they're like oh, no. going to across the country to tell someone about it um, is this a true story? No, it's something I made up. Oh, nice. That's great. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it started out as like an exercise that was kind of word soup, and then I yeah. started carving out a story with it, and that's sort of what I imagine in my head. Like, And that's why it's. I feel like it has this sort of soaring quality to it, because I imagine it's just like someone on a plane having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> And like kind of looking out the window and like really trying to talk through what they're going to say to this person. Um, yeah, and that's what it's about. Beautiful. I can't wait to hear it. I know everyone out there can't wait to hear it as well. Sweetbreads, thank you for speaking with me. Thank you, We'll Tom. be back in just a moment where you're going to shred through a set yeah. of awesome Sweetbreads songs. So stay tuned, everyone. All right.
Cut the black so we can stand up. <laughs> yeah, should we? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what happens, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, okay. Tom. That You're was welcome. really nice. Thank you, bro. Great I was work. so that nervous. Was Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, where did the mic stand? I have to get that back to you. Okay. Thank you, you Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna drink some tea. Just bathe them if you got them. Okay. Actually, I'll keep that out. Whoo. All right. Which songs? So are you playing it just gone? Um. Sea change, the anvil, open mic, and empty. Okay. So four and then the last three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But Nick's gonna play acoustic on other songs. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nick's playing yes. the acoustic. Yeah. Got it. All right, everybody. Who cues us in? Oh. No, I mean, well, they're gonna, they're they're gonna I'll signal you when we go back. Okay, awesome. Thank you.
Maybe we play on this one. I forgot to tell Jeremy. Uh. You want me to play? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay, here we go. All right. This is the fog. song is called Sea Change. Opening and closing like a flower I think of you every hour 
It's about people pleasing. We all do it, don't we? Back at the office, gray cubicle, the hum of the monitor, no one on the wall. Lukewarm coffee before the team meeting, stepping into a glass room, one intention in his head, he's singing. Perfectly in place 
Faucet running Alone in the bathroom with your phone in your hand Raise it up to the mirror and get the angle right Pose for the camera, baby You just might It's time for a fun one. Yeah, it is. Should go into that line of work. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to rock? Ready to rock, Daddy? One, two, one, two, three, one. Susie's on the wagon again. She's got all of her friends rooting for her. Say she's nicer when she's sober. She's on a green juice cleanse, takes her medications every morning, just like the doctor ordered. Damn, it's heartbreaking, just being human. Push a rock up the hill to watch it roll down again. In a flesh prison since the saga began. Hard to change your attitude when there's a long life ahead of you. can feel her mind slipping, drags her ass to the gym, running on the treadmill till the endorphins kick in. Then she heads to the shower, washes the sweat off of her skin, relishing in the steam she breathes out and she breathes in. <sighs> She's breathing out and she breathes down. It's heartbreaking, just being human. Push a rock up a hill to watch it roll down. The saga began Hard to change your attitude When there's a long line ahead of you Now she's at the club Looking for somebody to love Drinking seltzer and lime Pretending to have a good time But the music's too loud She feels lost in the crowd So she walks home alone But she feels fine when she gets home Feeling fine when she gets down It's heartbreaking Just being human Push a rock up the hill To watch it roll down again In a flesh prison Since the saga began Hard to change your attitude When there's a long line Yeah. 
Okay. It's like. Thank you. All right. Give me a second. Okay, cool. Thank you. Talk about the new song. This is a new one called The Anvil. Um, and, you know, when you are a person who often thinks negatively about yourself, sometimes uh, you just need to hear a very simple phrase, and that's what this song is about. Here we go. I wish I could be there with you to hold your hand, make them understand. It's not easy to learn something new, make new friends, start a new career plan. When you were a kid, you did what you did just to survive and learn to live with it. I know it's been tough and it's not enough But I'm always here to remind you Ooh, you are good You are good You are
cool. Mm, really? That last line. <laughs> Chef's kiss. did a new thing. It was Chef's cool. Chef's kiss. <laughs> All right, well. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thanks. I felt it too. Um, <laughs> uh, this next one is very new, and we're still working it out, so we were hesitant to put it on the set list. But we're going to do it. Here we go. This is one Nick and I wrote together, and we're very proud of it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> It down with what was left of her fifth white claw She'd do almost anything To separate her mind from her body Made me sad, it scared me Avoided eyes when we washed our hands clean It's Monday night at the open mic We traveled for an hour to stand in line Played for four minutes on the stage in hopes of landing a gig with tips for pay We'd do almost anything To try to get our songs heard and seen Is that too much to be asking? What at the floor when they call my name to sing? But nobody feels the earth shake Can't you feel it? To bump a bunch of ketamine in the bathroom stall And I stared at the stickers on the wall i do almost anything To turn back the clock and say something But who was I to be judging? Walked out the door and I bought us both another drink <laughs> yeah, yeah, I almost yeah. got it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, this last song is called Empty. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to take some water. Thank you, everyone who's been a part of this. It's been really fun. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you to Kaleidoscope Sounds. <laughs> okay. Um. Lately I've been feeling empty Like a dusty mason jar Like a summer home in winter Like the body of my guitar The brightest lights can make a black sky I do not see a single star City music feels so deafening When you don't know who you are A rolling stone gets no more A squeaky wheel should get the green Spiraling out, spinning in circles I'm crying out for some relief I'm looking at the bigger picture But there's a missing puzzle piece Does anybody have the answer? For how a person's supposed to be A rolling stone gets no more A squeaky wheel should get the grease I'm spiraling out, spinning in circles I'm crying out for some